This is the giant of a man, Henry Akinwande, of Nigerian descent. Comes out of Lewisham in South London and making his first appearance in the north of England against uh, more or less a local boy here, Lancastrian gypsy Johnny Fury. And if Fury takes too many more right hands like that, he won't be around too long. Akinwande, he'll be 26 on Saturday. He stands around about six feet six inches. And in fact, I'm not so sure he isn't slightly even taller than that. Uh, Fury is 6'4", but for once meeting a man taller than himself. Akinwande, if you uh, follow boxing closely, you'll know that he was twice uh, an amateur champion, ABA champion. He boxed in the Seoul Olympics, and now he's had 11 successive wins up to good left from uh, Fury. Paying Akinwande back for that earlier right. Akinwande has now won 11 as a pro. Seven of them inside the distance. And this, as you know, is an eliminator for the British heavyweight title currently held by Lennox Lewis, the man who disposed of Glenn McCrory a few days ago, very quickly and dramatically. Lennox Lewis, of course, born in London, but brought up in Canada, and is now the British and European heavyweight champion. It's Fury from Haslingdon, just north of Bolton in Lancashire. Really amazing pace. And there's no way they'll get through 10 rounds at this sort of pace. Fury has been a pro now for four years, but has very limited experience and certainly hasn't got the sort of international experience that Akin Wandy has acquired over the years. And Akin Wandy comes out of Lewisham in South East London now, born in Dulwich, also in South London, and lived for a time with his parents in Nigeria. And he came back to this country. And he's done some uh, he's done some studying as an agricultural student. Second round, Akin Wandy again. Moving straight into the attack. Fury's counters are pretty wild. And there's a great deal of difference between the quality of punching. Akin Wandy's is quick and sharp, and Fury's has a touch of desperation and wildness about it. Akinwandi putting together some nice looking combinations against this man who's never been stopped as a pro. Akinwandi last fought in June against the American Marshall Tillman in Nice and outpointed him over eight rounds. Not a bad win against Tillman because Marshall Tillman only last month took uh, James Bonecrusher Smith into the final round of a ten-rounder before being stopped. Hand again from Fury and uh, Akin Wendy felt it, so it's not entirely one sided. <laughs> and Fury now getting a big cheer from this Lancastrian crowd at the GMEX Centre in Manchester. These two fighting an eliminator for the British heavyweight championship so we move into the third round of a fast-paced heavyweight contest Akin Wendy weighing 15 stone 13 and a quarter pounds just three quarters of a pound under 16 stone and John Fury is a couple of pounds lighter than that but as so often these days the big men move around the ring a good deal faster and on more nimble feet than they did 20 or 30 years ago and a lot of that is due to the Muhammad Ali influence. Akinwadi 
had an astonishing amateur record. He actually appeared in four. Again, the left hand from the Southpaw Fury. But the rate of exchange is very much against Fury, and that was a beautiful little right hand. And Fury may be about to be stopped for the first time in his career. And he's certainly not going to beat this guy. He's absolutely out. Counted out in the third round. And that's a very impressive win by Akin Wandy.